another live game drive. Looking forward to lots of wildlife today. So um, nice to have you here. We'll have a look around just now, but it is really a stunning morning. There's a little bit of cloud and uh, spectacular sunset earlier this morning. So uh, it bodes well for the day. My name is Peter. I've got Jan on camera today. The heli back in the life control center. And as always, hopefully lots of animal wildlife action to be looking at, both at the water hole as well as on the drive. With us. So um, let's go look around. It's a good start to the morning. But, oh, this is possibly even the same female a few days ago we saw as well by herself. So then as well, not typical for them to be solitary, but maybe she just felt having a look that direction. Game drives also leaving. Well, the game drive is getting ready for their morning as well. You can hear a bit of the radio conversation. It's quite a search for leopard on at the moment. Leopard haven't been seen for a while. Good time now for animals like giraffe or kudus, your browsers, even though for a while conditions will still get drier and drier out here. Most of your trees are starting to form the new leaves for spring. Obviously their roots are deep down into the earth, so they're not as bound to the rain conditions. Especially this female, I'm sure she's quite happy because also pregnant where the belly is a bit bigger than usual so <coughs> she'll need all the good food she can get I think we're gonna leave her and just uh, go explore the early morning out here Press the bear in his back Still a young male, but when he matures, that ridge of hair or that crest of hair in his back and belly just serves a big role in making him look bigger. When they're busy squaring off against other males, competing for females, they do these elaborate, beautiful walks, almost strutting there. That crest makes them look a lot bigger from the side. They do these all these visual displays to the other males, but all side. <laughs> Jumped out of my shot. Very quick, as you could see, they're just incredibly quick reflexes. And also, Nyala is the same as the other cousins. Very quick. I mean, they live a lot of their time in thick bush. So, often to evade a predator or to get away from something, they need to not only be fast, but also be able to jump over bushes and thickets. But I think he just got a frightened sat at nothing. Maybe at his shadow. But no alarm calls or anything, so it's not like there was an immediate threat. playing hide and seek with us. A little bit of greenery there, some common spike thorns and gory bush. A very almost comical way of running. You could see that sort of jumping or skipping type run. 
that's where it derives its name from. It's also going into a bit of thick stuff there. Right, let me have a look up there. Yeah, up in the jackal area, there's a squirrel. So if you follow the main right hand side truck, oh, it's just gone. And there's a grey lurie, but that's also. Let's see if it sticks around a bit. Jackalberry, it's losing the last of its leaves now. You can see that beautiful golden color, extra enhanced by the early morning sun. Oh, this one deciding to not only have a drink but to have a little bit of a bird bath as well. Such good condition, look at these little horns. A little antelope that I always like watching or seeing. Beautiful as well, so dainty. White is nice and yellow. It's like a glowing colour to it. Adult dahinas. Actually, two. There's another one following. Right in front of us here. Where are they off to this morning? Let's see another one following. This is one of the sort of still see it's got that slightly stuck out the way more got that slightly sort of furry young coat still hasn't been in too many fights see, right in front of the car again Just following the other adult interesting where they're going I mean typically unless there's food close by they don't move around too much in the day also these guys don't look like they drink it's the most likely possibility there's a dam in that direction about a kilometer away The adult battalion has flown off. As you can see the juvenile still perched right on top of that tree there. It's interesting, they're sitting right here by the hyena den as well, so maybe they were trying to pick up a few of the scraps that the hyenas bring back for the young ones. Actually, now I'm seeing the adults again. I didn't see this actually just moved to another tree, it's a little bit more hidden now. But quite as striking as the adults, once this bird is about five, six years old and it has the full adult plumage, it'll be very beautiful, bright red around the face and the legs and then black chest and under the wings uh, with also some grey and some white and beige and brown, really spectacular raptors. This one is still hoping to get some food from the adult. Let's go have a look down at the den, Let's see what's cooking there. Young ones are back inside already. 